so. Okay, so happy Monday. Thank you all very much for coming out. Well, hello everybody in chat. Black Death, Hobo, Lurkers. Everybody else, oh, Biff is here too. And so, news today. Oh, Urtuk, The Desolation. That's a game I streamed what, about a week and a half ago or so. Maybe two weeks. Um, it's still early access, I believe, on Steam, but it is currently up on GOG as well now, as of today. Uh, Wilder Myth, another game, turn-based strategy game. Um, also on early access up on Steam. They just released an update with the new uh, five-chapter story campaign. Might be checking that out later in the week. And go from there. That's the newest of news for me. Okay, that's it. Okay, so again, we're playing some more Battlestar Galactica Deadlock today. This is, of course, the uh, Ghost Fleet Offensive we'll be doing, which is there. Is it there? I like Wilder Myth. It's a fun game. I like the art style too, it's different. Okay, so this is where we are. Uh, Sick like Bay 1, so the story stuff we have to click here to go through. But uh, the generally, the story right now is uh, this is taking place during the first Cylon War in the Battlestar Galactica universe. So this is pre. Um, TV series, both the, the original one and uh, the reboot back in the early 2000s. This is taking place before that, so no characters are actually from the TV series in this, but the Galactic is. I guess the Galactic is technically a character, but it is here. And um, right now, apparently the war is not going too favor favorably for the Colonials, and as a result, they have a backup plan uh, running, which is called the Ghost Fleet. And what they've been doing is um, when ships, when they need more ships in the Ghost Fleet, they, in a regular engagement with the Cylons, they have the ship take some damage and then act like it blows up, but it really jumps away and joins the Ghost Fleet. And um, they've been doing that for a little while now. And now we've got to the point in the DLC where we are the Ghost Fleet. So the downside to this, <laughs> so. For most of the, the DLC, we've been working over on that table. But now that we're in the Ghost Fleet, we're over here. And the main downside here is um, we can't recruit any more officers. <laughs> we only have the we only have one, and this is our you know our head admiral type dude for uh, for this operation. So, but we do have ships. We have four fleets. But the this is the main fleet. This is the Ghost Fleet. Um, it's got uh, 8,000 points worth of ships maximum. We do have other fleets here, but they are all limited to 4,000 points. So we try to get them up to 4, 000, close to 4,000 as possible. Not exactly sure how it's going to work. Like this one, we have, what, 1650 to put in here. Am I building a ship? I'm not building a ship. So we should get one that's close to 1650. So that would be another Artemis. So we'll build one of these. And then we transfer to that one. So that's the one we just did. So set that as the flagship. That one as a flagship. And set that one as a flagship. So again, I don't know what role these fleets play. Because right now, the only thing we can do is this center mission here. And it's always the Galacticus fleet that has to go there. So I don't know what the purpose of these other fleets are. So, we'll see. But anyway, um, the Ghost Fleet Operation DLC has 10 missions total. We'll be going on mission 9 here fairly soon, uh, right after we listen to this little uh, story here. Silas, what the frack? Don't you defend her! Tell me where she is, I'm going to... Ugh. 
You're not gonna do anything to First Sergeant Larson. She acted on my command. Anything you have to say to her, you say to me. You, she, frack! It's not fair. As soon as we heard her voice, I can't imagine what you're going through, Sam. She was gone. I let her go. But now, she was my sister, Silas. How did I leave my sister behind? You couldn't have known. None of us could have expected this. Any of it. The universe is as cruel as it is fickle. If Helen is somehow still out there, I will find her. I can't leave her again. This fracking war be damned. I know. She likes to cuss. I'll be right here with you. <laughs> Frack you. Frack this war. Frack Sarkis. How many times are we going to clean up his fracking messes? He's trying to do this right. Oh, come on. You're still going to defend him after he's fracked you over? Like this? You weren't even supposed to be out here. He promised us. He swore an oath you wouldn't be more than one jump away from your kid. And mine. Well, <laughs> I'm here now. Not much can change that. We just have to trust that whatever damage we do out here is enough to help him close out the war. <laughs> I'm not sure there's anything else we can do. Never pegged you for a fatalist, Silas. <sighs> These are strange times, my friend. Get some rest while you can. No doubt Kane will call us soon for some new crisis. All right. I uh, like that. You really like the word frack? I prefer the word feldicar because it's longer. <laughs> Which they don't really use. And in this... I don't think they really used it in this, uh, this series at all. But it, I think I like that one better. Because it sounds funnier. Anyway, so what happened here is Samantha, she was the woman talking here. In the last mission, um, we destroyed this base, or we boarded a base, a Cylon base, and while we were there, we, she was getting, um, uh, she was, I think she was actually on the, on the ship, or the, the base, whatever it was, and her sister was talking to her, I think, but her sister is like an artificial intelligence now kind of sorta and so it wasn't really she didn't actually see her sister she was talking to her through the computer type deal so it was sometimes her real voice and sometimes it was a computerized voice that was pretending to be her sister and we ended up destroying the base that's why she's so pissed and that's just the way things work right so that's where we are Uses someone to get spaced by mistake, like he cracked the sword himself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, that's where we are. So we're, we're going for the next. Oh, we gotta repair this first. Repair. We at least uh, promote him? No, we can't promote him. Now, what's actually in this fleet? So it's the Galactica, the Biff, so we got two Jupiter Mark IIs. They got nukes, they got vipers, they got assault raptors, it's all the stuff that's over here. Oh, then we have Hurricane and Artemis Battlestar with two vipers and a nuke. And then we have a Minotaur gunship. So, that's basically, let's see, we got 150 points to spend if we wanted to, so at most it would be, what, 1,050? I don't think we can do any more ships in that fleet. Yeah, that's right. We took the Minotaur over the Ranger and the Janus and the Orion. Heracles is too big. Okay, we're good. Okay, let's go on to the next mission. Intel has finished decoding the traffic we pulled from the comms array. Nothing in there except for transfers from two weeks ago, which is no good to us now. However, the SIGINT <laughs> thinks they found a Cylon Command mustering point based on some of the routing metadata. With luck, we'll find at least one of the ILs at the coordinates. Take out one of the heads, and we can start talking about sending people home. Mr. Singh, are these coordinates correct? This is quite a way inside of Sector 19. I raised the question, but Sigint is certain. It's a long jump for sure. Sir, Ghost Fleet is already overextended. The Cylons are well aware that we're out here now, and they're reinforcing what positions they have left. If we strike too far in, we risk the already tiny chance of making it back to the colonies. I concur with the Praetor. She has the experience in these matters. 
While I'm happy to see that you two can be in the same room without getting into a fist fight, our orders still stand. Admiral Sarkis sent us out here for results. You go back without them and you will be tried as a traitor. <coughs> There's nothing I can do about that. Unlike Sarkis, or Ministry, or any of them back home, I understand our position out here. It's not my job to make you feel good about it. I don't have some pithy us versus them story to sell you. I'm just trying to get the work done so innocent people stop dying and you can all go home. We're finished here. You all know what to do. Commander, have the fleet ready for combat jump in 15 minutes. Sure, why not? So, so blah, 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 blah. It's just... Here's the Galactus, yeah, I think, is it? Whatever. Okay, whatever. Okay, so... You... Jump. There. Er, enter. So basically, we just run... See, on the other table, we had other missions we could do. To give the other smaller fleet something to do, but in this is just story stuff. Which isn't bad. <laughs> it's just there's no no break from, you know, tough mission to tough mission. That's all. That formation didn't work so well for us last time. Uh oh. Requires the presence of the Galactic at the mission marker. So we don't know where we're going. Okay, so, yeah, and I tried a slightly different formation here, but it didn't quite work. So I'm going to click right to get out here. This is Biff. Space between you guys. I've had worse. Oh, uh, this is a defender. We didn't have a defender before, did we? So, defender is a um, smaller ship. It's a support ship. Oh, that's why we have a defender, because it's the support ship. This actually can help uh, uh, reinforce your um, boarding actions. Provide extra uh, marines and that kind of stuff. And it also has uh, a squadron you can bring in. I'll bring Taipan again. Oh, Mice back, just a second. I need to talk to her. Okay, I'm back. You're like the Battlestar Galactica and for Homeworld. Have you ever played Homeworld? I played Homeworld a long time ago. <laughs> I played Homeworld a long, long time ago. Okay, and this defender actually has flag too. So we could actually keep it out. I will keep it there for now. Doesn't really have any guns. Yeah, I played Homeworld when it first came out, way back when. Don't ask me if I remember anything about it, though, because as most games from that time period, I don't remember very well. Some of them I do, but most I don't. I remember playing them, but I couldn't tell you anything special about them. But Homeworld, I've it's a 
3D RTS type stuff. That was pretty good. It was pretty good. Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Jump complete. Dre. What the frack? There's no one here. Check your jump coordinates, Lieutenant. I swear, if you have fracked our jump. I watched his input, sir. We're at the right location. They knew we were coming. So? What do we do now? <laughs> um, we sit here and launch fighters. Launching alert by Go to defense. Defense mode here. You can target ship subsystems. I don't I don't remember. I remember the 3D stuff, so you could come in at, you know, different angles and that kind of stuff, but I don't remember targeting specific subsystems. I'm not saying it didn't happen, I just don't remember it. Okay, so these guys, make sure they stay together. Got it. Yeah, if you notice, uh, a lot of jumpiness there, that's me. My hands are giving me a problem. Oh, I know why my hands are bothering me. My wife just told me it's raining outside. Wondered why my hands were hurting so much today. It's because it's raining. <laughs> it's a bit like Homeworld. It's... Uh, I don't know. It's not an RTS. It's turn-based, so that's that's a big difference. There's not the um... Ghost Fleet. Hear this precursor, right, story. so that you fully understand this futility. You linger here, abdicating your responsibilities, while we raise your homes. The Great Toron Plain is burning. Volunteer firefighters have been unable to stop the raging fires. Your sister, Helena. Your moral weakness falls within expected probability parameters. Everything is connected. Your future remains predictable. It will be as God wants it to be. Sir, I'm not detecting any launches from the base star. It's just acting as a relay. I don't think Atropos or anyone else is actually on there. Mouthpiece or not, destroy the base star. You have your orders, Commander. Yes, this is a def I mean, We've been over this, Kriegs. This is a Darkest Dungeon mod. It's a total conversion. It just doesn't have the awesome, super awesome uh, voiceover work, that's all. But it's, it is Darkest Dungeon. You'll see in a second. So, you think he's going to launch anything at us? I bet he will. Which means right turn. So say we all. Interest for MRI last MRI. Interest MRI tomorrow. I've had worse. There's a lesion on your neck. They want to make sure it's not getting bad. Like, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, those those uh, spinal cord lesions are the best. They don't scare the crap out of you at all. I only have two. They're inactive, but seeing those on your MRI is like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> They're not scary at all. I can take lesions on my brain, but I can't take them on my spinal cord. They'll scare the crap out of me. Come on, that mouse is acting weird, or maybe it's my fingers, I can't tell. A little of both. There we go. Stop it. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I've got one on my C4, and then that's all. But it was on, it's only a centimeter. But I've got a three centimeter one in the middle of my back. But again, they're both inactive. They've been inactive for like, shit, about 10 years now. Okay, 
Let's go see. Should we send the vipers out? Just in case. Them over there. Pipe him. Just behind him. Raptors. Get you guys over there too. And enter. Squadron on me. I'm on Copax and Black Death. I've been on it for 15 years now. It seems to be working. Oh yeah, never stop taking your meds. Yeah, I do a daily injection. Have been for 15 years. It's fun. But it seems to be working. It's not fucking up on my liver and kidney either. Or kidneys. Destroy the silent command base star. Yeah, I hate needles too. It's it's one of the ironies of life. I don't have any piercings, no tattoos. So what do I do? I have to inject every friggin' day of my life. <laughs> Are we the same level as him? Yeah, we're gonna have the ships drop down. Could nuke him from here. Should I? I think we should nuke him. So say we all. Just one though. Hey Omega, welcome back. Time to make a bunch of mama toasters cry. There we go. Greatest contacts, Cylon IFFs all over the board, and they're flooding closed channels with news broadcasts. Under sustained missile strikes for its third day in a row, with no relief from Colonial Fleet in sight. I don't think they're fake either. I just heard the Cap 5 Alpha Feed guy yelling about rocket damage to the Delphi Museum. They're retaliating, and while we're stuck out here, they're pushing the fight back home. Where they have more than four-fifths of Colonial Fleet to protect them. They are not helpless, Silas, and we don't have anyone coming to rescue us. Cut radio receivers and engage the enemy, Commander. Clear this area completely of any Cylon presence. Okay, so Nuke's still on the way. The Vipers right there. I don't want to get the Vipers too close, though. They are the Raptors or everything. We're just going to have everybody hang out right here, I think. Because if this thing blows, when they these are too close, it'll be bye bye for everybody. So we'll just wait, see what happens. These two. Have you guys go closer this way? I'm on it, Commander. Elevation wise, looks like we're good. I think we're good on elevation. Nominal RCS green. I'm good to go. So they haven't launched any uh, Raptors. They're not Raptors. Raiders, yeah. Where'd the nuke go? Where did the nuke go? <laughs> I hate it when it disappears like that. They all have flag. So, so say we all. Deal. <laughs> you actually thought I was actually going to fix Toaster live on stream? <laughs> That's good. That would have been an interesting stream. Open rack and engage. 
Okay, this is a Medusa back here. Again, where did the nuke go? Did, oh, the nuke probably only has limited range. I thought they had a very long range, though. It's not right. It's messed up. Anyway. So the nuke's not going to hit over there. I'm going to shut these guys. Confirmed squadron target. Raptors can attack him. Hypan can attack him too, because that's our goal. Confirmed squadron target. It's why you started. I, I thought it was a weird conversation that we were having there. Squadron target. is taking fire. Squadron's gonna die. Now they're heavy. These guys are beating up on the regular raiders. Regular or driver. Some mounts. IFFs have come back hostile. What happened there? They're finally close enough. Raider, more driver, raider. Heavy raiders. You guys go after that guy. You two go after the war driver. Do I have torpedoes? I don't think I do, I just have nukes. I'm pretty sure I only have nukes. There's a nuke. I don't have anything. So I have two nukes left. I'm not gonna waste it on revenants though. You guys are all gonna go on full offense. Target whoever gets closest. Oh yeah, turn that on. Oh, they're gonna be in range this next turn. So I hit first. Almost toast. He's still pretty healthy, but we're gone. That one right there, he's almost toast. 
starts firing on him now, so he's going to torn to pieces. Let's have these guys just turn a little to the right, so we don't have to worry about collisions. And elevation. And we can drop down a little. And again, dropping down because uh, the bulk of the weapons for the Minotaur and the, and the Battle Stars are up top. Rear armor is gone, so Taipan's doing well, beating them up pretty good. Taipans are fighters that specialize in beating up on capital ships. They suck as dog fighters, but they're really good at beating up uh, tacticals or capitals. Switching gun to manual. Relifting. Okay, on you guys. Focus him. Heavy squadron, more drivers almost gone. So they're just worried about doing that alone. Got it. Uh, where's the war driver? There it is. Oh, they're already on it. Driver two, get the heavy. Heavy's uh, raiders, they put Cylons onto your ship, so you don't want them too close. <laughs> He's gonna die this turn. So we could nuke that thing, I think. I think we're close enough. It's still pretty far, though. Okay, so... Gonna run into that asteroid? I bet we will. So let's uh, turn this way. Got it. Yeah, we should be okay. The second group it looks like they're high enough; they won't touch the asteroid. But just to be safe, we're going to go up a little bit in elevation, just in case, because you know asteroids kind of hurt when you run into them. Raptors should be ready to do a next another batch of munitions here. Another their last uh, salvo of mission, missiles, missile, missile, missiles, and fire. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. Artemis is taking damage. What? Artemis is taking damage. It's you. Oh, his left armor is gone. That's not good. Your squadron, you're gonna get toasted. Uh, this thing's almost dead. So we'll just have the have them continue to meet up on this. It's almost gone. Again, we could nuke stuff here. Nuke, not you. So Artemis has a nuke as well. It's a nuke. And you, you. Asteroid, no problem. So the Artemis armor is gone. Doesn't matter, he's dead. They don't have any gunships left. So let's go. That secondary battery, full attack mode, fire at will. Jupiter is taking damage. I mean, Jupiter's taking damage. Rear armor. The hell? What's on us? What are these guys? 
guys on. So they don't have any more raiders. How is the Jupiter taking damage? The friendly fire? Can't be. Maybe it is. <laughs> Maybe it is friendly fire. It shouldn't be. Oh, but it is, isn't it? We hit him with the new. Oh, that's so stupid. Whatever. Okay, so you guys. Stay away from those. Go beat up on the Hydra back here. After just still beating up on him. That wasn't the. How the what happened there? All this debris is just eating up our nukes. I think that's what it is. There's just too much debris floating around. That sucks. Oh well. We have to do this old fashioned way. Gotta shoot him to death. So beat up, you can't move. Oh, his navigation is taken out. System I guess that's what happens when you get hit by a nuke. I'm on it, Commander. Higher, have these guys stay grouped together for now. He's not dead yet. Shoot him faster. Shoot him more. Shoot him more. Okay, the Hydra's almost dead. are on him now. This guy's getting closer and closer. There it goes, finally.
Yes, sir. Down. Down. There's navigation. Navigation is almost repaired. Okay, let's make sure they're all on the right target here. Got it. Got it. And then wait for that. Keep your target locked and watch for clearance. We're down. The other ones are fine. Dun, dun, dun. Working, working, working. Subsystem repairs are complete. Okay, so yep, all nice and repaired. You're ready to make a left turn. So we're going to have everybody use their boosters. Got it. Say we all. And here we go. Hey, better. Welcome back. That got a little mess. Time to clean up and go home. He's not gonna make it. All hostile marks are dark, Commander. The blanket broadcasts have stopped as well. Downgrade to condition two and prep for real and cleanup. Sir, we must be done here. We're needed at Caprica. You dare not run from your post, Silas. Your admiral can't protect you from treason charges. You can blame his political mess for the death penalty you'll face if you leave this post. Drade is contact. A single raider bearing 147 Karam 062. Encrypted transmission incoming. Routing it straight to your CIC console, sir. Okay, so we'll watch or listen to that after we look at our little movie here. Squadron on me. Action station, set condition one throughout the ship. Watch your intervals, people. Time to make a bunch of mama toasters cry. Except the nukes never made it. Yeah, this is this is the fight we just did. This is the replay of it. In real time. Pew pew, hey Nando, welcome back. I've got two four, upper seven, targeting. Watch the six. 
Nope, this isn't pre-filmed. This is this is the battle I just did. Oh, so they had a collision. That's what happened there. <laughs> it wasn't friendly fire. It was a collision. <laughs> uh, and there's the Raptors launching all their missiles. Yes, you have to watch. There are collisions. There are collisions. So you gotta be careful. These are Raptors doing their thing again. Set secondary battery. Full attack mode. Fire at will. So that was our nuke that hit our battle star on the back end there, because reasons. It took out our navigation on the battle star too. Uh. Just the Raptors just harassing the base star this whole time. There it goes. Of course, it's, yeah, it's way more dramatic in real time. Galactica, 53% accurate, no kills. If 41% accurate, 3 kills. Artemis. Oh, this is the Hurricane, so this is 48%, 1 kill. The Minotaur had 46% accuracy, 1 kill. And the Defender, 617% accuracy, but it's not a gunship, so no big deal. Anyway, happy Monday, everyone. Thanks for coming out. Hope you have a good day so far. So there's that. So now we have to repair. It's a hurricane. Still a rookie. Needs more experience. What's Biff doing? Biff is experience. So he's got plus ten percent or plus ten to his firewall. Three percent damage reduction. Galactica. I need so it's got all of the mass stuff there. Is somebody supposed to be talking to us? Run! Lachesis is coming for you! Run! Lachesis is coming for you! Run! Lachesis is coming for you! Run! Lachesis is. And there's nothing else in there. The keyboard warriors completely scrubbed the file. There's nothing else in the audio, the transmission data, or the file history. It's spotless, like it was manufactured just for us. Even if the recording is real, we're still in the middle of fuel transfers. 
We don't have the time or Tilium for a running battle back to Cyrenus. So we stay and lay an ambush for Lachesis. What? I mean, all due respect, sir. The last time we fought Lachesis, we had home ground advantage and the resources of Colonial Fleet behind us. We've got none of those right now. We could be taking people home. Admiral Kane is right. Whatever sent that message thinks it can scare us away by using Lachesis as a boogeyman. The Cylons can't afford to have us out here. So we stay and prepare for a fight. Silas, you can't. They need you back home. Take Galactica home. Protect our families. And leave people behind to finish our job? That's not us, Sam. We're better than that. We'll finish what Sarkis started. So I don't have to worry about a mutiny then. Good. Commander, prepare the fleet to receive the Cylons. I expect we have a difficult fight ahead of us. Yeah, think. Anyway, hello, Targus. We're back. And... Boss fight. Tubby, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. I heard the squirrel is looking for you. Alright, the present black to go. Alright. Okay, before you forget this, let's save here. Yeah, Caprica was cancelled. It only lasted, what, a season or two at most? Oh, congratulations, Biff, Hobo, Bata, for killing a squirrel. It lasted two seasons, okay. Okay, so we need to send uh, this. Run! Lachesis is coming for you! Run! Stop. You put that on a friggin' ringtone for your phone. Okay, so jump. Confirm. Next turn. Yeah, it was a good show. Go. Sufficient 10. That might be it. Think about making a, a rap song with just that as the chorus. <laughs> so I would, use it, I would use it as a ringtone. So where are they? See, we're looking for the little red circles, but apparently this is... I think we're all set to go. I don't know how this is going to go. I have no idea what's going to happen here. Six, seven, eight. Trade is contacts. Multiple Cylon marks CBDR. Commander, launch the attack. Atropos has known your every step before you made them. Your homes burn while you stumble out here. The Cylon people will hold God's lands for themselves. You couldn't kill me when you were at the head of Cylon Command. And you're not going to now that you serve someone else. None can question God's plan. Not you. Not I. Not even Atropos. This will be as God wants it to be. So, four on eight. We can do this. Maybe. Hey, launching off fighters. fighters. Full defense. So we got some distance. So, let's do what? My turn. Yes, sir. Elevation-wise, let's probably drop down just a little for now. Two. Keep going for it. Full ahead right now. Stack. All systems are nominal. Wait, me fly on top of each other, or what do you mean by stack? Oh, this is wonderful. Yeah, you can 
Yeah, if I wanted to, I could have these these this one flying over that one. Yeah, there's nothing. Else. You can basically do whatever you want, as long as you don't see this red stuff. Red means they're going to collide. Got it. Let's drop down. So say we all. You go higher. That high. Got it. <laughs> Still gonna collide, huh? I'm on it, Commander. Slow down. Issue here. Someone's gonna get car marshaled? Eh, maybe. We'll see. We gotta get out of this, fix this problem though. I'm on it, Commander. How are they colliding? Got it. Still colliding. Why? I'm on it, Commander. We have a problem. <laughs> so say we all. Okay, problem solved. <laughs> We're all kind of screwed up now, but that's okay. We'll be fine. Yeah, it's a, see, this is a Jupiter 2 battle star. They're kind of slow. This is a faster ship, so that's kind of the problem. But not a big deal. We'll be fine. We're not colliding. Just really close. Weapons free and by the numbers, folks. Okay, now we can do this. We too can sit back here a little bit more. You let me slow down some. Okay, so we have some. Uh, let's see how many do they have. Just three. I can't be right. Which one's closest? Not you. I think. Confirmed squadron target. Okay, Raptors. We'll have you go after this guy over here. Send the Taipan over there too. Yes, sir. And that's our turn. Scorch marks. Nah, there's no scorch marks. Are there? Is there friendly fire on ships? Um, with missiles, yes. With guns, I don't think so. I don't think they shoot gun. I don't think they sh shoot through each other. So I'm pretty sure there's no friendly fire with guns, but there are with missiles, like nukes, torpedoes. Those were all hit friendlies. Counter missiles. Grifter! Grifter! I'm taking hit! <sighs> Greatest contacts. More Cylon IFFs bearing on the fleet. Okay, these torpedoes are headed for. Can't tell. Unfortunately, we can't use our flak because Vipers are right there. We'll destroy them all. Yes, sir. That. It's hard to tell where those missiles are going. Looks like they're headed to maybe the Defender. But again, we can't use Slack. We're too close. Oh well. Uh, we're on full defense anyway, right? Yeah, we're full defense. 
So it shouldn't be too bad. Hostile unit. Yep, they're going out to the defender. Squadron is taking fire. Defender is taking damage. Defender is getting hurt. More Dreadus contacts. The whole board is lighting up, Commander. Hold steady, Lieutenant. We survived worse than this. Okay, so you turn to your right a little bit. Yes, Commander. Go up. Flak. So Flak might hit a couple of those. Look like the very no they're not technically no, they're not torpedoes they're moving okay so you that way set up there actually have him drop down a little might be able to take a couple of those missiles maybe we'll see Hey, yeah, in the meantime, what do we have over here? Sarastes. Let's kill the Sarastes with the Raptors. And the Taipan. It's gonna hurt a little bit. Missiles incoming. So the flag's getting some of the missiles. Look at that. So the flak saved a defender there. Okay, so that actually not too bad. So turn him back this way. Yes, sir. Still going after the defender, so we'll have him pop up a little. Eat up some more of those missiles. They don't have any ships close to us, which is fine. So the Serastes is gonna die. Oh wait a minute. Second, sir. Oh, that's what's going on. So, Taipan's eating him up. The Raptors can. Oh, they're eating him up. So, what? Oh, weird. Whatever. Okay. So, we can actually have him go this way now. His part. I'll have this battle start drop down. Set up here. Again, no enemy ships within range. Hostile unit identified. WA5, low three, I'm committing. Defender is taking damage. Ah, oh, they're squeaking through. They're coming up from too high. This. So the Defender is now same level as the Battlestar, so we'll actually have him drop down a little bit. So say we all. This armory is toast, so I'll do this. It's got down to 37 armor, and I'll actually have him turn all the way this way. I'm on it, Commander. So if he does get hit, it'll be more on the back end. Drop him down still. Maybe. It's not what I wanted. Stop. So many missiles. So, so many missiles. He's still alive. So this Serastis back here is dead. Got a raider squadron back. Oh, we got multiple raiders. So we're going to lose our Taipan. These guys are just shooting up all these raiders. Just let them go. If we lose the raptors, we lose the raptors. Try to get the missiles off first, though. There's the Taipan. He's still beating up. Who's he on? No, you're not supposed to be dogfighting, you moron. <laughs> you can't dogfight. Go after him. <laughs> you can't dogfight. Okay, let's turn just a little this way. Let's 
Missiles incoming. We're gonna lose the defender. Yeah, defender's toast. Friendly squadron is dark. They're giving us a hell of a storm, sir. It's okay. We're fine. The defender isn't really that key of a ship. It's it's not that big. It's a support ship. It doesn't matter. Not really. See, look, they lost the Serastis. They've lost two Serastis, just to the, the Raptors and the Taipan. Oh, the Taipan is dark now. We lost a Raptor squadron. Got it. After him. We did lose a, a Viper squadron, though. How is he still alive? Yeah, they leave him with one whole point, I don't know. Okay, so now we don't have to worry about where are those missiles going. Now they'll probably go after the Minotaur. So the Minotaur we want to be back this way, drop down. Got it. Just go this way. Go up. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, looks like we have a Phobos to shoot now. Oh, Serastes is right there. Kill him first. Leave the this uh, battle star in full defense for the maximum flag. These guys go full offense, so they can shoot that guy, and then he'll be next. No idea where these things are going. What did we destroy back here? <laughs> I don't know what was blowing up there. So vipers, he'll be dead. Viper, that's us. Major squadron. I just gotta focus on him. Nuke them back to the Stone Age? We can't until they stop firing the miss missiles. Oh, it's a Kratos. Never, we haven't run into these guys, this thing, before. Okay, so... Can do. This way. Down. Everybody fire at the Phobos. As soon as this, this batch of missiles is gone, we can start throwing nukes at that thing. He's big, 320 hulls. Wow, he's big. He's bigger than a, than a Jupiter too. Twice the size. Firing solution is online. Friendly squadron is dark. Gee, as long as they keep throwing missiles at us, kind of hard to launch missiles. Okay, so now we're hacked. So a second Phobos. So focus on that. Okay, and then uh, let's see, have him. Let's stop that. Yes, Commander. Okay, you cancel the flag for now. Cancel the flag. Nuke away. Okay, who else can shoot a nuke and not hit a friendly? You. Because the nuke's going up. Nuclear strike prepared. Yes, sir. So this one we could actually throw a nuke too. It'll go this way because we're moving that way. Yeah, sure, why not? So say Three we nukes all. on the way. Here's a bit to make them into urinals and toilets while leaving their CPUs intact. <laughs> uh, we lost all our raptors. That's okay. Vipers are dominating the raiders. Oh, a Vespin bomber squadron. No idea what those are. I don't think we've seen those yet. Oh, 
Peek in the missiles. Keep your target locked and watch for clearance. Firing on target. I can't, I can't, I can't. Artemis is taking damage. Artemis, so that's you. Wow, left armor gone. So we're gonna have you turn this way. Not that low. That way. Okay, and then uh, keep the. We have to keep the flak off for one more turn, otherwise we're gonna destroy two of our nukes. So we gotta wait that. Viper's getting torn up by somebody. Kill him already. There. Okay, so three nukes, no problem. As a shooting at him. In range, okay. Well, since we don't have flak up. Oh no, we are getting hacked though, so we want to keep the firewall as much as strong as possible, so we gotta stay at full defense until we can destroy that thing. Artemis is taking damage. There goes the nukes. Ah, he's dead. If I am to die today, it is by God's will alone. Atropos now bears responsibility for the Cylon people. God's will be done. Atropos, send me more. These humans will not go quietly. There will be no more reinforcements, brethren. Clovos, what of you? Where are you? I have rerouted the fuel dependencies of your base star. Your connection with Cylon Command is severed. Either you destroy Galactica, or are killed by them. God's will be done. I will take your spine for this, Clothos. Baystar is trying to spool drives, but something's wrong. I think Clothos just handed Latches us to us on a platter. This is it. This is what we're out here for, Commander. Kill Latches. I think he's pretty much dead. <laughs> Three nukes did it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think he's gonna survive that explosion. <laughs> hey, Meerkat, welcome back. Somehow, I think he's already dead. Okay, so now we just have to clear the remaining Cylons. We can do this, no problem, right? Oh, we've got the Vespid Bomber Squadron coming in. You're coming this way. You're going flak on the left side. Right, that was the left side. feel bad for him? I don't. He's a jerk. He didn't toast my bread correctly. Burnt it. Anyway. Yes, Commander. Anyway. Who's our closest target now? Okay, Rackney, you're next. Again, the flak on this is gonna probably do wonders to that bomber squadron, I hope. Toast. It'll be next. Oh, so many. Got three more ships out here at least. Run out of Vipers. They're running out of Raiders, so that's fair enough. Concentrate on that one, then go to the next. I don't see any missiles. I'm gonna put him onto uh, next offense for better range. North Pole, there's no North Pole. Missiles incoming. 
I'm a flat earther? No, I'm just saying there's no North Pole. Okay, so we got those three back there. Well, this one can go back this way. Shoot him. Oh, we're down to three Viper Squadrons. How many ra- oh, these guys are left. Just a bunch of raiders. Ugh. Should we have ghosts? Go 1v1? <laughs> Let's see if we can do 1v1. Target. Target. Yes, sir. Target. There. So it's 1v1 with one extra flying around. Not much we can do about this. We're pretty much out of vipers here. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. Set. So say we all. All set. No, not them. This is unidentified. Raider squadron, though. No. Want their parent there, the Argos. Okay, let's uh, have everybody drop down a little bit. I'm on it, Commander. Again, taking advantage of the top, mount top mounted big guns. Target acquisition is through. Give me manual controls now. So, how are we doing over here? Are we winning? Not really. <laughs> Not really. You'd think the Vipers would take him out. These are Viper 2s against regular Raiders, that doesn't seem right. And drop down some more. See launching missiles yet? Doesn't look like it. So we're going to turn the flak off. Turning the flak off because it allows uh, the battle stars. They've got guns on the side here that are, aren't flak, and when the flak is off, they work better. Okay, so turn that way. Drop down. Next target. You. He's on full offense. Well, all our vipers aren't dead yet. It's a plus. Are we winning? This, no. I mean, he still has four squadrons up to our three. But we're going to soon to be down to two. So how about we focus on... Who's the lowest one? 28, 27, 47. So we'll go after this one. Got it. Everyone on that one, actually. He's already on that one. We're getting a little bit of support here from the Battle Stars. Not a lot. Okay, now it's just a matter of going that way. Yes, sir. We don't need to get any lower. We're at a good angle, I think. Oh, no, not not quite out of a, a third squadron yet. Friendly squadron is now they are. <laughs> Switching gun to manual. Yeah, so now we put these guys to target him. Could just go to regular speed to get a little bit faster. Ask for it. Boosters. That way we will be in range next turn for sure. And a turn. Target is 
3-4 by 6-2. We're going to hammer the fractures so they can't get back up. Okay. Now, turn those off. Put the guns back on and he's in range. So we'll tear him apart. Let's kind of point at him. Somehow the Vipers are not dead yet. They're somehow surviving. Okay, so there's 28 there. 33 there. 46. So go after 28. <laughs> they fired their big guns at friggin' fighters. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> Unless I hit. Viper's almost gone. Of course, he's almost gone too. No, that's my Viper Squadron. It's almost gone. 33. 18. So he might die. Hey, we still have Vipers left. It's surprising. He's almost dead. Yeah, the chance of these uh, squadrons surviving is pretty slim for uh, for us. Hey, look, that ship's gone. This way, drop down. Already in range. Let's go quick. Oh, I did give him his a tar priority target. Damn it, I screwed that up. After him, you guys have business here. Twenty nine thirty five. After him. So, not even a full squadron of uh, vipers left. Can we kill this ship before the turn is over? Hey, we've got 21 Vipers left against 22. Twenty-seven. So what is that? Forty-nine. Yeah, that's. So the only way these this uh, squadron lives is if we kill this ship before uh, we kill a Viper, which they should. At this range, this thing is toast against three Battle Stars and a Minotaur. I don't care what it is. <laughs> marks are dark. We did it. We destroyed Lachesis. That's got to be enough to get us home now. I've waited a long time to see this. I hope you were watching, Lena. It wasn't all for nothing. Commander, tell Ghost Fleet to clean up and spool drives. You're going home. Yay. Okay, let's watch the replay. Weapons free and by the numbers. Fly through that ship. <laughs> There's no collision for fighters. Time to make a bunch of mama toasters cry. Grifter! Grifter! I'm taking hit! Poor Defender isn't going to make it. We know that, though. No, we don't have to like it, but that's the way it is. I've got three 
There it goes. They're giving us a hell of a storm, sir. Set secondary battery. Full attack mode. Fire at will. Boss fight. Tubby, did you hear that? Fire inclusion is online. It's a boss fight. Okay, my kill slot. I heard the squirrel is looking for you. Glad Rand killed you all, just saying that. Good job, Rand. This furball. <laughs> One ship left? Where is it? There he is. That's what you get, crackers. They never stood a chance. Okay, it's Galactica. 20% accurate, one kill. But I was on uh, defense most of the time. Biff, 36% accuracy, four kills. Hurricane, 22% accuracy, three kills. Minotaur, 51%, one kill. And Defender dead. Yeah, that's what turn base does for you. We're only one jump from Serenus. Jubal will want to know you're okay. Jubal Sarkis can go to hell. Just give me a raptor and I'll be gone. Don't pretend any of us want anything other than that. We could use your help. No, you can't. Your problems are piling up more than I can help you with. Killing Lachesis will barely register as a hiccup for Atropos. This was not a solution, at least not for you. You won't even reconsider for your family. They have already mourned me, and I them. No child will grow to fulfillment in this tepid soil. I am just a name whispered on Hallow Morn in the Kane household now. Just don't forget the people you're fighting for. There's no victory in being right if you drag them down with you. Goodbye, Silas. Good luck.
Da -da -da. So that was that. That's the end of uh, the Ghost Fleet Offensive. <sighs> now what? <laughs> I got about an hour to kill, roughly. <laughs>